So I'm sure you've been seeing a lot of infographics pop up particularly on Pinterest. And I thought I showed you how to create your very own in a really fast and easy way. Now there's a bunch of infographic tools out there um, that you can definitely check out and use and I'm gonna add all of those in the description of this video. But I want to show you how to do it in my favorite tool which is Canva. And if you don't have a Canva account, go to canva.com Com and definitely reserve your username so you can get an awesome graphic design tool that is 100% free, which is obviously my favorite kind of price. So anyway, let's hop on over to Canva and we'll get started. Cool. So here I am on my Canva account and you're going to be able to see a bunch of preset designs that they have on here for you. So social media accounts, presentations, posters, blog graphics, etc. So the first thing I want you to do is make sure that you have a clear vision for what you want to create. So obviously the first step would be figuring out what the theme of your infographic is going to be or the topic. The second step is organizing your facts or figuring out exactly what you want to convey and then thinking about different ways to portray that visually. So let's say that you um, maybe own a retailer, re retailing business, and you have you know different um, attires and how colors maybe make people's complexions pop or maybe p make people's eyes pop. So you want to make sure that you have real facts based on you know hopefully some solid research, and you organize that. So for me, I just literally did um, a really quick brief summary of the facts on a Google Doc. So um, I just added the, the facts on here on bullet points, make sure I have the right sources, and um, I added the links to all my sources which we're going to add on the bottom part of the infographic once we're done. So for this particular topic I decided just to make a really simple infographic about how to boost social engagement with visuals or with graphics. So it's right on my blog. Um, I haven't published it yet because I want to include this video in the blog post, but I just pulled some cool facts from different case studies and different um, research studies um, and just organized that information and portrayed it visually. So here's the infographic finished and I created all of this in a matter of minutes on Canva. Super easy, super fast, free, and a piece of really valuable content that I know all of you are going to enjoy. And I just literally added, you know, the sources at the bottom and tacked on my website. Really easy, really simple stuff. So there are different dimensions, obviously, um, for different infographics. So I want you to figure out what the length and the width of your particular ideal infographic is. But just to give you kind of like a starter no note, um, I usually do 700 pixels times 3,000 pixels. So 300, sorry, 700 pixels wide and 3,000 pixels high. Now you can do it, you, know, you can make your infographic as high as you want or you know as short as you want, hopefully not shorter than maybe 1,000 pixels because then your graphic is going to look a little skewed. But I think 700 times 3,000 is a good place to start. So the way to do that is you go here on Canvas homepage and instead of selecting a pre um, sort of uh, design, you want to use a custom des design with custom dimensions. So you're going to type in 700 pixels wide times 3000 pixels high and click design. So Canva is just going to pull in those dimensions for you and here you are. Now obviously this is pretty um, zoomed out view. We're going to go ahead and zoom in on the bottom left hand panel. Zoom in here. Beautiful. Okay. So once we have the design, probably want to change the title. I'm going to write infographic test, but you guys can do whatever title or theme you want to add on there. 
And then the next step is figuring out what colors you want. I suggest you go in uh, maybe Pinterest or one of your favorite uh, maybe infographic sites such as Infogram or maybe visually and go in there and look at some of the color schemes. Try to find colors that are going to pop and that go well together. Um, it's really, really important in terms of capturing your audience visually. So that's the very first step. Let's say that we want to choose um, some of the similar colors I've been using. So first thing I want to do is set the background color. And here you're going to have different textures that you can add to your background. So play around with that. You want to make sure the background is not too busy. So I would probably either go for a solid color or maybe use one of these two textures that are a little um, lighter. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one of the colors from my previous design right here. Scroll down. See what the color code is. All right, I'm going to copy paste that color into the background right over here, and there we have it. So once you have the main color for your background, you can add textures to it and change color back to what it originally was. That's just going to make um, sort of like a um, highlighted section in the in the middle and then um, more of a shadow on the both exterior um, sort of area. So that is first step. Second step is I want to go in and probably add my title and find probably a text holder that looks good. So I go into the text section and you're going to find a bunch of different text holders and different shapes and colors and you're able to customize all of those however you want. I'm just going to pick a really simple text setter right here. Great. So you're just going to place it, just drag and drop, make it a little bigger. Awesome. And I'm going to go ahead and customize the colors. So this orange, I don't really like that it's not going to make a great contrast with blue, so I'm going to change the, these colors to a white. Maybe pick a darker shade of gray just to make it stand out a bit. Change the text color to maybe a bluish more of a pastel color. Just play around with it and see what you find and you like. You're just going to leave it like that for the heck of it. But anyway, you guys get the point. You're going to go ahead and edit the text. Just say infographic test, but you're going to place the title of your infographic there. And then just adjust the size as you need. Make it a little bigger. Awesome. Go ahead and edit those colors one more time. Switch this. All right, much better. So there's your title. Probably make this a little darker. There you have your title. And then you can go in and sort of section the information that you have. So grab the first fact and make sure that you're portraying it visually. So one of the first ones that I wanted to add here was that photos and video posts on Pinterest are referring more traffic than Twitter or StumbleUpon, LinkedIn, and Google+. So you want to find a way to sort of edit that information, portray it visually. So I'm going to go ahead and go up here and go to the infographic section. And here you're going to find a ton of resources with awesome graphics, great just um, you know bars and different editable ed editable yeah that's the word um, text fonts and just a bunch of stuff so let's say that I want to use just like a percentage graphic and say maybe I don't know 21 percent of people who purchase who see an item on Pinterest are more likely to purchase it than if they see it on Twitter or Facebook just an idea so I'm going to go ahead and do 21% here, edit those colors, make them look a little 
better, a little brighter. All right, let's just go ahead and edit the bubble, that orange bubble. Maybe make it white. Edit the text, make it a little darker. Cool. And then I'm going to go ahead and little trick. If you want your items to look a little bit more professional, sort of blend in with your infographic nicely, you want to edit the transparency. Make that transparency a little darker. And it's just going to help blend in those different um, badges or the different icons that you're selecting for your infographic. Of course, you can make it all pretty and, you know, edit as you may, making all of these stand out and really look good as you organize them. Definitely add the text on here and just have fun with it. Play around with it. Figure out what you can, um, what you come up with. It's a lot of fun and it's a great way to sort of put all the information, it's really valuable to your customers in one place um, and make it really stand out from the rest of the content that's being published out there. So one last tip when you're sort of creating your infographics, make sure that you are proofreading all the information that you actually have valid facts on there and that you're selecting great colors. Again, look for awesome ways to kind of portray that visually and play around with all of these different icons. You have arrows and stickers, technology, and if there's something that you can't find, for instance, there's a logo, you can always do a search on the top um, left-hand panel. Let's say I want to find a Pinterest logo. Click on there, and it's just going to pull up all the different kinds of logos. Most of them are fully editable, which is great. So let's say I just want to add one of these logos here. Switch up the color. Awesome. And then make the transparency a little bit darker. I mean, less transparent, I guess. Or more transparent. And then um, place that on there. So, really easy, really fun stuff. Definitely go in and look for something that you like at the color scheme. Grab your information and hop over to Canva and go crazy. Anyway, I hope this information was really helpful. If you like this video, make sure to like it, share it with your friends, and leave me a comment in the comment section with any questions, concerns, or suggestions. Maybe you have cooler techniques that we can add on in future videos. Anyway, it was a ton of fun creating this for you, and I will see you next time.